Alright, so this is the unboxing of my new Crossfire um, motherboard, Crossfire X. Um, I can run one card at 16x or two cards at 8x. I only paid $40 for this motherboard, motherboard, which is less than I paid for my original one. So, I don't really care if it only lasts for like a year or so. Here it is, ASUS M2A MVP AMD socket AM2, not AM2 Plus, motherboard, 480X Crossfire chipset, low end. Uh, 14 days limit replacement, only warranty unless otherwise stated. All uh, claims for items listed may official warranty will not be honored. Um, yada, 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 yada. Um, here we go, $39.99. Shipping. There you go. Forty-seven dollars. I ended up paying for this. Uh, I hope it's good. So um, oh, I hate these little things. Not the best packaging I've ever seen. <laughs> so it's in a priority mail shipping container. Uh, this is definitely not the best packaging I've ever seen. The past is pretty crappy. Um, let's do this. Here she is, hold on. Put the bubble wrap on. There is the static paper. And alrighty. So by looking at this, here's um some alright OEM driver disc. Uh, Vista driver upgrade kit. Mom, I'm not even like Vista. Shh. I don't even own Vista actually. I use XP. Um. Oh, good. This is good. Comes with this. I usually don't have these, so this will be good. Uh. Yep. This is gonna fit right perfectly. That's nice to have. Um. So in here. We got a 4-pin mullet connector, I see. Um, not a mullet, a 4-pin ATX power connector or something, or rather, whatever you call it. Um, socket AM2. We have... Alright. So, this is the primary PCI Express bus. This, uh... PCI slots, uh, PCI by one slot, but that looks more like a PCI by eight slot, not by 16. Huh. Um, alright, let's see what this says. It says, only remove MVP switch card when you want to install other devices. Please install here in the black piece of this. Interesting. Uh, Southbridge. Asus Northbridge chipset. 20 pin, I think it's 24, I'll say 20 pin. Um, three way audio. Firewire. USB. Ethernet, some more USB. 
um, Serial Parallel PS2. That's good. Um, so it's got chipset, but no VGA port. That's interesting. So I'm going to put a 4890 in here, and hopefully a second 4890 in here. And what I like is it has two PCI Express by one slot. So that's going to give me some room in here, like that. So that'll give me some airflow for the second card to suck in, which most people have them right on top of each other, so that's not that good. So that'll be helpful. And it'll leave one free. So if I do want to put a sound card in there and, you know, deduce my um, audio quality, I can. Or I can just put, a, like, a, a PCI slot sound card, which I think I may do um, down very bottom. And if you look, um, floppy, uh, IDE, right there, um, four of these, good for 667, 800, or 1000 mega, uh, 66 megahertz, I think, I'm running 800, um, I got my one and two slots right there, and then I'll be able to put my, I mean one and three, to be able to do my two and four later for eight gigs, right now I got four gigs. Um, and four SATAs, and I don't know if this is RAID compatible. It'd be nice because I'd like to do a, um, a RAID 5 or something. Anyway, I have two 500s and one terabyte. I want to do something with them. So, um, I'm going to put my Phenom X3 AM2 Plus slot there. Processor there. And my RAM, I have everything, and I think this set is like a 14 day money back warranty, so I'm going to pop it in over Thanksgiving, so that um, I can see if it works, and if it doesn't, I'll end up sending it back, but I'm hoping it works. It's really cheap, but it looks good, and I'm going to take my other XFX board and get a cheapo a um, two slot processor like an Athlon 64 for it and make myself a cheapo Windows home server because I need to back up all my stuff because I keep um, getting corruptions so yep that's that